Welcome to another episode of Skeg Vegas Wrestling Fallout. I'm your host, commentator, ring announcer, Mr. Vegas. If you are watching the live stream, please drop a like. Please let me know you are watching in the live chat. And please let me know if the video quality and the mic quality is okay. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. Before we get into the action, I want to wish an happy birthday to Ari, one of my best friends and a member of the roster, otherwise known as Pitch Black. Everyone, please wish him an happy birthday. Welcome BK Michaels, welcome Connor the Dragon, welcome Ice Cold, welcome Theodore, welcome Amanda, welcome DAD Wrestling. Welcome Unknown, welcome Ambot, welcome Jax, otherwise known as MV, welcome Becca, welcome Ari, welcome Nightmare, welcome Catskills, welcome Sinister Beast, and that's it, let's get into the action then. Let's get into this episode of Skeg Vegas Wrestling Fallout. If you are watching, please drop a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please let me know you are watching in the live chat. That is correct, Samondo. Thank you for spending your Monday night. Or... Oh, if you're in America, maybe it's eat, uh, maybe it's morning, maybe it's afternoon. Thank you for spending your time with Skeg Vegas Wrestling. I appreciate it. And I hope to put on a good show for you all tonight. We are here at the Skeg Vegas Casino, I believe we called this place a while ago. We are coming from Nottingham, England. The opening match is going to be for the No Limits Championship between Addy, Krusty Red Flame and Connor the Dragon. Well, he was supposed to be, but where is Addy? Welcome Jackson. Where is Addy? Addy was supposed to be te defending his No Limits Championship. That is held for a record time. He's the longest reigning champion in Skeg Vegas Wrestling history. And he's not here. He insisted I put Krusty Red Flame in this match. They are in a faction together. The standard. And was that the reason? So we're going to have a championship match. We've got the championship. But Addy is not here. So I'm guessing Krusty Red Flame is representing Addy in this match. And it looks like Blue Eyes is managing Connor the Dragon. And who knows where Addy is. Has he been attacked backstage? By the other members of Vengeance of Vegas? Nobody knows. Nobody has the answers. Is Addy going to turn up halfway through the match and help Krusty win the championship? Who knows? We're going to get into it though. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling Fallout opening match and is for the No Limits Championship. If you're watching the live stream, please drop a like. Making his way to the ring first, representing the standard from Melbourne, Australia. 
Krusty, Red, Flame. We haven't seen Krusty in a while. The last match he had, he beat Sinister Beast, which was a huge win in his career. If you're watching the live stream, please drop a like, please subscribe if you haven't already, and please let me know you are watching in the live chat. And I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but people up in and out, so I have to keep repeating myself. It's Connor the Dragon. Gonna be a double champion, the first double champion in company history. He's gonna have to get through Krusty. And you've gotta imagine that Connor's in a foul mood after not being able to get his vengeance on Addy. Oh my god, look at this. And his opponent making his way to the ring. Is the explicit champion representing Vengeance of Vegas? He's accompanied to the ring by Blue Eyes from Blackpool. The explicit champion, Connor the Dragon. Look at the size of this guy, Blue Eyes. Stands seven foot two. If you want a manager, this is the manager you want. And he's amping corner up for this match. If you're watching, please drop a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. This is the opening match for the No Limits Championship. Can Connor the Dragon make history? And become the first double champion in Skeg Vegas wrestling history. Got a huge match feel about this. Here you see the No Limits Championship that was held by Addy. And Addy has not turned up. But the belt is here. Krusty brought out the belt before the match started. And a bell rings and off we go. And Connor is looking for a powerbomb to start off. Looking to show his strength with a running powerbomb into the pin. Krusty got a rope break. And Connor is fired up. The two stay. Picks him up into a fireman's carry. Oh, what a move. Drops him down into the pin again. One. Connor is not messing around tonight. We don't usually see Connor do power moves, but he's getting a little bit too cocky. And Krusty Irish whips him into the corner. And an STO. And a soul kick. And another STO by Krusty. And we know Connor likes to entertain. He likes to put on good matches. But is this a mistake? He picks him up. And drops him down with a cutter. Connor is in control. Scoop slam. Krusty rolls to the apron. I think that's wise. Trying to get away from Connor. Connor at the end of Gary. Knocking Krusty Red Flame off the apron. And Connor to the top rope. What is he thinking? Oh my god. He's about to fly. Shooting star to the outside. Unbelievable. By one of the best wrestlers at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Connor the Dragon. And he tells Krusty to get up, but Krusty's struggling. Springboard drop kick. And Connor is in control of this match. As he had a quick stare to Blue Eyes. Punch. Challenging Krusty, maybe. Is Krusty looking for a submission? He is. He's looking for the Dragon Sleeper. 
corner manages to fight out. Kick to the gut. Suplex holds on. It's another one holds on again. Oh, and like an Impaler DDT. And look at Krusty Connors just stood over him, challenging him to get up. And Connor with a springboard roundhouse kick. And blue eyes like that one. And a springboard moonsault. And a knee strike. And Connor is dominating right now. Look at the strength deadlift. Lifts him up into the gorilla. Press slam, I believe this called. And drops him down. Connor looks like a child playing with his food right now. Embarrassing Krusty. Irish whip into the corner. These two have had a past. Connor's beat him in every match they've had, I believe. And Krusty's choking him out in the corner. Hip toss. Krusty trying to get the fans behind him. Oh, and a stunner. Onto the top rope. Lifts Connor back up. Needs to get him into the ring. Instead went for a gut punch. And Connor Irish whips him into the steel steps. And Connor to the top rope again. Looking to fly maybe. Oh my god. What a frog splash. Incredible. And Connor climbs back into the ring. But he can't win this match by count out. And he tells Krusty to get to his feet. And he's pointing to the turnbuckle now, to the top rope. What is Connor doing? Oh my god, diving crossbody to the outside. Connor is putting on a show tonight. Irish whips him into the ring. Tells him to get up. Springboard, no. Into the ring. Oh, he went for the springboard poison runner, but missed. Mistakes by Connor. He's made mistakes in the past, and I think he's making a mistake here, getting too cocky against Krusty. Oh. He's still standing, though. Snap me. Kick to the back by Krusty, but Connor just took it. And a springboard, Poison Rana, inverted Frankenstein by Connor the Dragon. And he looks like he's setting up for that knee again. Just brutalizing his opponent. And he's going for that military press, deadlift, slam again. The strength. Of the dragon. Lifts him up. I think he's looking for dragon's end. And this might be it. This might be it for Krusty. Goes to the pin. One. Two. Kick out. At two and a half by Krusty Red Flame somehow. Wow. Connor lifts him back up. Got the arm. Four on by Krusty. Went for the soul kick. Missed. Northern Light Suplex. Holds on. Into that brain buster. Feynman's carry now. Into the knee. Into the German suplex. I think Connor the Dragon is focused. Torture rack into the neck breaker. 
and a flip sent on and he lifts Krusty up and he looks like he's setting up for the Dragon's Blade and that's going to be it. He hasn't done yet. What is this? He's looking for a submission. He's looking for the good night. Is Krusty going to tap? I think he is. Surely he can't hold on much longer. Krusty's showing fight. He's showing the art of a champion. But he has tapped out. And he has submitted. And Connor the Dragon is the new No Limits champion. And is the first double champion in Skeg Vegas Wrestling history. If you are watching the live stream, please drop a like. Please let me know you're watching in the live chat. Please subscribe if you haven't already. As you go to the highlights, I'll try and catch up on the chart the best I can. And the winner of this match and new No Limits Champion Connor the Dragon. Let's get into the next match. Welcome that. And the next match is going to be two monsters going at it. The Psychopath Matthew versus Sinister Beast in an explicit regulations match. Sinister Beast is on his path to redemption. He's going through everyone that he's faced at Skeg Vegas Wrestling and he's trying to defeat him. The last time these two faced each other, Matthew won. Can Sinister Beast pick up the win tonight? I guess you'd have to wait and see Amanda on that. I think this is going to be match of the show, definitely. Explicit regulations, you win by painful submission or knockout. The following is an explicit regulations match. Making his way to the ring first, the psychopath, Matthew. Matthew won his last match. I can't remember who it was against, but he dominated that match. Welcome, Shade. I don't know if anyone in the chat could tell me who his last opponent were because I can't seem to remember. But he absolutely dominated that match. The psychopath returned at the last pay-per-view. Answered counsellor Hugo Nash's open challenge. Ring Rush played a factor in that match. But he's back to his best now. The psychopath Matthew, the former King of Vegas champion. He held that title for, I think it was five days. And then Michael Revenant's lawyers got involved. And he had to vacate that championship. Matthew's a big guy, stands six foot two, I believe. 265 pounds, I want to say. Skulker, that's who he faced. He absolutely dominated Skulker in his last match. Ah. 
Alice Opponent. Sinister. Beast. Is Sinister Beast and Matthew watching? I obviously saw Connor for his match, but I didn't see Krusty Red Flame. I didn't expect to see Krusty Red Flame. I didn't see Addy either. As I said before the match, Sinister Beast is on his path to redemption. He's going through everyone he's faced at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And he's looking to beat them. Sinister's here. Matthew's here. That's awesome. Glad to see you both watching your match. This should be match of the night. Explicit regulations. You win by pinfall, knockout or submission. This is going to be a brutal match. Between two of the biggest wrestlers at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And Matthew goes straight after him with a pop-up or a Camrona. And Matthew straight into the pin. Trying to catch Sinister off guard. He kicks out at one. And Sinister's now back up. Oh, and he took his head off with that strike. And Sinister Beast is challenging Matthew. Irish whip into the corner. Punch. Stomp to the chest. Stomp to the chest again. And just driving the boots into Sinister Beast's throat. Oh my god. Into the Meteora. And Matthew's feeling good. And he goes to the pin again. And a kick out at one. These two are not hanging about tonight. Oh, he went for the clothesline, but Matthew just took it. And kicks in his chest. Lifts him up. Kick to the stomach by Sinister. Court screw. Neck breaker. Fist drop by Sinister Beast. Look at the strength of Sinister Beast. Lift up. Inverted. DDT into the pin. One. Kick out at one by Matthew. Sinister can't believe it. After that show of strength. And an Irish whip into the corner by Matthew to Sinister. Spins him round. What is this? Explode a suplex into the corner. Sinister rolls out. Matthew's gone out to meet him. Sinister Beast has got back into the ring. Monkey flip by Sinister Beast. To the top rope, Sinister goes. What's he thinking? Double foot stomp, Matthew got out of the way. And the two stare at each other. Oh, what a move by Matthew. And the psychopath is coming out to play. With the motions that he just made. Into the rope. Oh my god, what a knee. And Matthew goes for the pin again. Kick out at one. He's going to have to do more than that to beat Sinister Beast. Went for the kick, missed. Snap there by Matthew. Reversal by Sinister with the elbow. Kicks. And a huge knee, but Matthew's still standing. Sinister Beast with a belly-to-belly -belly face buster. Matthew is up. And he drops him down on his head. What a match. Matthew's leaving the ring, maybe looking to get a weapon. He gets back in. Is he looking for a choke slam? He was. But Sinister reverses. Springboard. Ed bought by Sinister Beast. What a match already. And look at these combinations by Sinister. Kicking his chest in. And a spinning soul kick. And Sinister is vamped up for this match. What's this? The ref's getting in the way, but he's hitting repeated Ed Butts to Matthew. 
And he goes to the pin. One. Only a one. Matthew kicks out. And Matthew is up. Went for the chop. Missed. Front face lock. Into the Uranogi. Goes to the pin. Matthew is not messing around in this match. Kick out at one. By Sinister Beast. Matthew don't want to be in there with the Beast. Matthew wants to get the win and get out. Maybe he knows how dangerous Sinister Beast is. Stomps into the forearm. And now Matthew leaves the ring again. And he is looking for a weapon. Anything goes in this. He's got a baseball bat. Sinister's trying to get to his feet. And Matthew went for the strike with a baseball bat. Sinister reversed with the knees. Spins him round. Look at this. Oh my god, he's held on. Is he going to hit another? He does. The strength of Sinister Beast throwing Matthew about like a rag doll. Matthew is six foot two. And he lands on the baseball bat, I think. And Sinister's got the baseball bat. And he struck Matthew over the head. And Sinister's feeling good. Sinister's in control of this match. Matthew's getting to his feet. The two stare at each other. Take down into the knee by Matthew to Sinister Beast. And Matthew's trying to get the fans on his side. Lifts up Sinister. Close line. Back body drop. Looking for the spine buster. This is not good for Sinister Beast. Matthew picks him up. Irish whips him into the ropes. The two stare at each other again. Matthew, what's he looking for? Oh my god, what a move. Are we looking for the choke slam? He is, he's looking for the choke slam. Can he get it this time? Oh my god, onto the baseball bat. What a choke slam. Goes to the pin. Kick out at two and a half by Sinister Beast. How did he kick out? Matthew setting up. Oh, and Sinister Beast reverses. Oh, and Sinister with a knee of his own. What a match. Step up in Zagiri. Matthew rolls to the apron. Sinister's waiting. I don't know what he tried doing there. But it backfired. But he's hitting them forearms now. Into the ropes. Drops him on his face. Drags him towards the ropes. Throws him onto the apron. Sinister Beast with a suicide spear. And he has knocked out Matthew. Oh my god, what a move. Jesus. And a winner of this match. By knockout. Sinister. Beast. What a match. If that is not match of the night, I'll be very surprised. Welcome, Max. Let me know if I've missed anything important. I'm trying to catch up the best I can. And next, we are going to have the longest reigning wingman champions in company history. The former wingman champions, Strike Force, the unstoppable Flex Wilson and Slim Wilson against a debuting tag team, I believe, Death Squad, the forgotten Evan Danger. 
shared and they are going to be managed by the Queen of Vegas champion Amber the Fighter. Welcome Lou Balm. I was supposed to do this match on play mode to avoid an error, but I've just gone in instinctively, so hopefully we don't get an error. Soul cleansed, says Sinister Beast. And I want to see the Forgotten Evan Danger, and I want to see Shade in the chat. I want to see Amber the Fighter, I don't expect to see Strike Force. It's not got an error, I don't think. The following is a match in the wingman division. Making their way to the ring first, the team of the unstoppable Flex Wilson, Slim Wilson, Strike Force. Well, they complained about get, not getting booked enough. I've booked the match for them and they are not watching. So this is the reason why you do not get booked. So don't complain to me saying you don't get booked enough. Because when I do book you, you do not watch. That's why you do not get booked. And their opponents, they are the team of the Forgotten, Evan Danger, Shade. They are accompanied to the ring by Amber the Fighter, Death Squad. The wingman champions will be having an eye on this match. They see Slim Wilson, they see the forgotten Evan Danger. The bell rings and off we go. Oh my god, what a kick to start off. Springboard back elbow. Snapmare into the roundhouse kick. A good start for their squad in their tag team debut. Elbow. Went for the back strike. Front first lock by Slim. Who hits the kneeling jawbreaker. Slips out of that. Backhand strike. Sent into the rope. And stand backflip into the head scissors and a kip up. And Amber's liking that. She clapped at that. Back elbow again. Slim with a reversal. Sends him into the rope. They bump into each other. Sends him into the rope again. And an headlock punch by Slim Wilson. And Evan rolls out of that one. Oh, what a move. That was nice. And Evan lifts up Slim. Irish whips him into the corner and gets the tag to Shade. What is this? What is this? 
Coast to coast by Death Squad. And now Evan with a guillotine leg drop. These two are impressing on their tag team debut. Shade stands about six foot four, I believe. Six foot three, maybe. And he's dominating Slim Wilson right now. Slim needs a tag. Slim manages to get out of that. Dragon screw to the bigger man. Soul kick. But Shade's still standing. And Slim sends him into the corner. Puts him on the top rope. What is Slim looking for? Looking for a DDT from the top rope. That went ice. What's going on between them two? Flex just jumped off the apron saying he didn't want the tag. These two are twin brothers. All is not well with Strike Force. Apparently, they've been on a losing streak in the matches that they have been booked. Former longest reigning wingman champions in company history, and now he wants to tag. It's a bit too late now. Shade lifts him up. Feynman's carry. Drops him down into the submission. Is Slim going to tap? He got out instantly. Fights out with the elbows. Pulls him. He's going to send him into the corner. He does. Reversal by Shade. And it's that knee. Pump handle. Backbreaker by Shade. Lifts him up. Looking for another submission. And his flex going to break it up. He does. I was whipping to the corner. The ref's down. And he gets the tag to Evan. Double backstabber. And Slim needs a tag desperately. He had the chance to earlier in the match. He and Flex jumped off the apron. Court screw. Neck breaker by Evan Danger. Reversal by Slim. Arm drag. Reversal. Springboard again. Springboard back elbow. What a kick. Turns his attention to Flex. Stunners him. Picks up Slim. In the center of the ring. Sit out. Powerbomb. Into the pin. One. Two. Oh, and Flex broke it up. At the last second. And the ref needs to get control of this match. Because it's absolutely chaos right now. And Evan to the top rope. Oh my god, what a shooting star. Into the pin. One, two, three. And Death Squad are victorious in their tag team debut. Nice little match there between them two teams. Welcome, do perfect. And the winners of this match, the team of the forgotten 
Evan Danger, Shade, Death Squad. Let's get into the next match. Welcome the creator. The next match is going to be Soft Kid against the debuting Steel Darkness. I want to see Steel Darkness in the chat right now. Is come watching? Is still darkness watching? Making his debut tonight against Soft Kid. Oh, maybe he should have told me that before booking a match and this stuff. But it is what it is. We'll get into it. The following is a one-on-one -on -one match in the King of Vegas division. Making his way to the ring first from Nigeria. Soft kit. If you're watching the live stream, please drop a like. Please let me know you're watching in the live chat and please subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, matches could have gone to other people tonight. Pitch Black could have had a match, Jackson Danger could have had a match. Cat skills could have had a match. The career could have had a match. Envy could have had a match. Unknown could have had a match. Amber could have had a match. If she's not injured, that is. It's lagging. I hope it's not lagging. And his opponent making his Skeg Vegas wrestling debut. Steel Darkness. This guy stands around six foot three. Looks like an impressive athlete. You see Soft Kid. You see Steel Darkness. The bell rings and off we go. And Steel Darkness gets reversed and hit with that knee. It's it that time. Double foot stomp. Spins him round. Inverted power slam. Punch spins him around again. German suplex holds on. Into the clothesline. Rocks him inside out. Lifts him up again. Spins him around again. Knee to the back. And still darkness is dominating on his debut. Absolutely dominating. Reversal by Soft Kid. Finally showing life. Gets reversed Irish whip, Leapfrog, drop down, 
Takes him down, double foot stomp. Unbelievable debut so far by Steel Darkness to the middle rope. Oh my god, 6.30 sent on. The speed and power of this guy. Oh! This is unbelievable. It's like a superhero. To the apron. S oh my god, springboard shooting star. Kick to the back. Kicks. And a punch. Stomp to the arm. Gut wrench. Suplex. Rolls through. Holds on. It's another. Standing. Moonsault by the big guy. Stomp to the face. Deadlift. Wow. I don't even know what you call that move. Springboard moonsault. What a debut by this kid. Super kick rocks him. Inside out. Goes to the pin. One. Two. That could have been it. But he decided not to. Moves to the corner instead. What is he setting up for? Spear. Tears him. Inside out. Goes to the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two and a half. By soft kid somehow. No, I would, no idea how he kicked out, but he did. Front face lock. Neck breaker. Arm drag by Soft Kid. Punch. Front face lock again. Body scissors. Takedown. Front first look again, kick. Swinging net breaker into the splash. Springboard Phoenix splash. What a debut. And a leg drop. And a wheelbarrow neck breaker. Spins him round. Oh my god. Tilt a world. Edge scissors. Inverted Frankensteiner. This guy's got moves. Turning to get up. Setting up for something in the corner maybe. Runs. Superman punch. Lifts him up. Into the rope. Stomp to the back of the head. And that's got to be it. One. Two. Three. What a debut for Steel Darkness. Incredible debut. What a debut. And a winner of this match.
by pinfall. Steel. Darkness. What a debut. What an exciting wrestler to watch. Let's get into the next match. Speed, I find ability, power. That guy had everything. And next we are going to see the debut of Ice Cold. The team of Ice Cold, BK Michaels, they're going to be managed by their manager, Pretty Paul Bourne. And they will be taking on Grim Reapers, the team of Skull and Skulker. Let's see what Ice Cold can do. In their tag team debut. Ice Cold used to be a tag team wrestler with his former partner. His former partner left the promotion. And now he's teaming with BK Michaels. Ice Cold was victorious in his last match over Shade. BK Michaels was victorious in his last singles match. Can't remember who it were against. I think it were against RK actually. Hopefully we don't get an error. I probably should have done this match in play mode as well. And this is a match for the wingman champions to keep their eye on. My mic's going static. Is it still going static or is it okay? Is it static now? Let me try and plug in it and plug in it back in. How is it now? Right, let's get into it then. The four win is a match in the wingman division. Making his way to the ring first, representing Grim Reapers from Fuller. I just completely messed that up. From Florida, Skulka. Sorry about me messing that up. So, BK is watching. Ice Cold is watching. I'm not expecting to see Skulka or Skull in this match. Yep, I'm alright now. Just messed up my words a little bit. And his tag team partner, representing Grim Reapers from New York, Skull. Skull is a former Blackjack champion. The Blackjack Championship does not exist anymore. It was a championship for people aged 21 or under. Skull, does he ever watch the shows? He used to, once upon a time. He's a good friend of mine. But he doesn't watch the shows. I think he's too, he says he's too busy to watch the shows because he's always at work and stuff. Mm. 
Yeah, he's been here from the start, pretty much. Wingman champions, watch this match closely. It says Ice Cold of Ice Cold. And their opponents making his way to the ring first, representing Ice Cold from Norway, accompanied to the ring by Pretty Paul Born. Ice Cold. I forgot to do the tag team entrance on Universe Mode. I if I was gonna do this match on play mode. So, I forgot to do it on universe mode. So that's why they don't have their tag entrance. Yep, your matches after this, Amanda. You see Ice Cold, and look at that new attire, he's looking fresh. I thought you were from Norway, Ice Cold. You told me to pronounce you from nowhere. Look at this kid, he's an absolute star. And his tag team partner, representing Ice Cole from Liverpool. The Rockstar, B.K. Michaels. And look at how fresh and smooth B.K. Michaels looks. Looks like an absolute rock star that he is. Matching colour schemes, matching attires. These guys are not playing around. And the bell rings and off we go. Spins him round. Backdrop suplex. Holds on. And it's another one and holds on again. And a German suplex by Ice Cold. In his fresh blue trainers. Oh my god. Half and half suplex. Skulker's getting dominated. Backstabber. Oh! Backdrop suplex into the neck breaker. What a dominant performance by Ice Cool! Skulker were desperately reaching out, trying to get to Skull. But Ice Cold is not having none of it. Oh, inverted! Frankensteiner lifts up Skulka. Irish whips him into the corner. Makes the tag to BK. It's the Brain Buster into the frog splash by BK Michaels. Absolutely amazing. Lifts him up. Irish whip. No into the headbutt. Skulker's skull is furious on the outside. Drop to old. Skulker's trying to get skull in and skull is in. And BK Michaels knocks him out of the ring with a clothesline and goes and stands on the middle rope and has a little celebration. Skull is in. Irish whip, no, into the drop to hold again. Irish whip onto the apron. What is Paul Bourne doing? He's no need to get involved here. And a net breaker by BK Michaels. Ice 
Irish whip. Drop down. Elite frog. Bumps into each other. And an uppercut by BK Michaels. Irish whip onto the apron again. The ref's down. BK Michaels to the middle rope. Ops against that. Went for a punch. Missed. Got it that time. Got the arm. Takes down skull. And snaps the arm back. Irish whip into the corner. BK with a corner trapped. Spear. And went for the hip attack. Missed. Reversal. Backbreaker by Skull. Into the Russian leg sweep. BK with a reversal. Irish whips Skull into his corner. And Skulker is in. Oh, and a corner trap. Spear to Skull. And a nip attack. And now Skulker's in and he gets it with a running front chop block. BK Michaels is dominating. Uppercut again. Stunner! Into the pin. One. Two. And BK let go. Turns his attention to score. Brings him in. With the neck breaker. Picks up Skulker. Skulker with the Irish whip. BK with a reversal. And slamming his head into the turnbuckle repeatedly. Skull needs to break this up. The speed and the velocity. That is Edwards going into the turnbuckle. He might have a concussion. Irish whip into the corner. Tag team manoeuvre coming up by Ice Cool. Sent into the pop-up. What is this? Oh my god. Lift up. Springboard. Clothesline. And Ice Cold with a knees to Skulker. What a tag team debut. For this team. Ice cold to the top rope. Looking to fly. Not Skulker off the apron. Oh and a body splash. From the apron. To Skulker. Skulka with a reversal finally gets some offense in. Ice Cold's getting back to his feet though. Uh oh. Arm drag. Into the drop kick. Turns his attention to Skull. He's got something for him as well. DDT onto the apron. Ice cold to the top rope. Oh my god, what a move. Goes to the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two and a half. Punches skull off the apron. That were a mistake. Because he's just got it in the chest by Skulker. Reversal by Ice Cold. DDT of some sort lifts up Skulker. What a kick. Mounted punches. And looking for the ice lock. But Skulker manages to escape. Irish whipped into the rope. Leapfrog. Power slam. Sends his attention to Skull again. Knocks him off the apron. Nice cold feeling good. But he's just been hit with a wheelbarrow stunner. He rolled out. 
Climbs back in. Oh, what a bicycle knee strike. And to the top rope. Looking for the Swanton Bomb. Takes Skull off the apron. Drives Skull coming to the centre of the ring. Lifts him up. Roundhouse kick. Into the mounted punches on the back. Into the ice lock. And this has got to be it. He's got a tap. He has got to tap. But Skulker manages to escape. Oh, what a kick. And Ice Cool are just dominating, but they can't seem to put Grim Reapers away. Catches him. Backbreaker. Grim Reapers are proving a tough team to beat. Oh, what a super kick. Into the pedigree. Stomps to the face. Elbow drop. Skull could try getting to his feet. He's going to get hit with a pump handle gut buster. Uh oh, BK Michael setting up. Power bomb. Drops him on his neck. Goes to the pin. One, two. And Skull were about to break it up and BK saw that. Punches him off the apron. Lifts up Skulker. Irish whips him into the corner. And tags in Ice Cold. Who's going to look for that springboard clothesline again. Oh, what a combination. Super kick. And these two are working very well as a team to say they are making their debut. Just need to find a way of putting Grim Reapers away. And another tag team maneuver coming up. Kick. Elbow. Elbow again. And another elbow, what a combination. It's a punch score off the apron. Instead, brings him in with the neck breaker. Lifts up Skulker. Uh oh, he's looking for the choke slam. And he should have gone for the pin, but instead, he tagged in ice cold. And Ice Cold's got hold of him. Drags him into their corner. To the top rope. Again. Looking for the Swanton Bomb. Into the pin. That's got to be it. One. Two. Three. And Ice Cold. And BK Michaels. Ice Cold. Pick up the win. What an impressive tag team debut. As you go to the highlights. I'll try and catch up on the chat. And that 
That team right there could be a threat to the Wingman Championships, which are currently held by Vengeance of Vegas. And the winners of this match, the team of Ice Cold, BK Michaels, Ice Cold. Let's get into the next match. You miss your match, shit. And the next match is going to be Vanity versus Amanda. The Amanda. It looks like she's been accompanied to the ring by Blue Eyes. And can Amanda Domanda keep a undefeated streak intact? Can she pick up yet another win? Can she pick up another submission win? She's been dominant so far in Skig Vegas Wrestling. She's now a member of Vengeance of Vegas. The following is a one-on-one -on -one match in the Queen of Vegas division. Making her way to the ring first from Houston, Texas, Vanity. We haven't seen Vanity in a while, but she's booked tonight and she's got to go one-on-one -on -one with Amanda Damanda. Once upon a time, she was in the Equality Division, which was the former Queen of Vegas Division, and she's a two-time champion. She was the inaugural champion. And her opponent, accompanied to the ring by Blue Eyes, representing Vengeance of Vegas from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Amanda, the Amanda. And this will be a good test for Amanda to see where she's at. It seems like she's on a collision course for Amber the Fighters, Queen of Vegas Championship. One of the tallest females we have seen at Skig Vegas Wrestling, standing six feet tall, over 200 pounds. They see Vanity, they see Amanda. The bell rings and off we go. And she hits the drop kick from the start. Kick to the back, into the rope, leg drop, into the rope again, another leg drop. And Amanda is not messing about tonight. She's got the arm. Is this a submission or an old? It looks like a submission. And she's going to outpower Vanity. Vanity's got to use athletic ability and speed. And Amanda's taking a risk here going to the top rope. We don't usually see that. Vanity's back in. And it's the hammer strike. And a drop kick to the shoulder. Drop kick to the face. Drags her into the center of the ring. Running. Drop kick. 
Look at Vanity, she's in agony, kick to the back. Vanity's never been in the ring with someone like Amanda. Stomp to the arm. Just complete and utter control. Elbows to the leg. Turns around. Surfboard. Just crushing the knees. Going after the arm again. Into the rope again. Leg drop. And another one, and Vanity has just not been able to get out of the gates at all. And she's going for them leg drops again. And Vanity's got to be finding it hard to breathe with all the offense that's happened to the throat and neck. And all the shots that she has taken to the head with these drop kicks. And Va Vanity finally gets some offense in with a punch. But look at the size difference. And she gets a clothesline to the back of the head. And Vanity rolls out to the apron. And Amanda's going to go to the top rope. What is Amanda thinking? Oh my god, she hit her with a famous -er from the top rope. Now on the outside, kick, what is this, she's going for a submission on the outside, she's got the arm, is this a submission, she's got to be careful not to get counted out here, she snaps the arm, she climbs back in and climbs quickly back out. Vanity might have a broken arm. And Amanda to the top rope. Going high risk again with the elbow drop to the outside. This girl can do everything. This woman can do everything. And again, working on the arm. Reversal by Vanity. Finally gets some offense in. And it's the clothesline. She looks like a little girl lost in the ring compared to Amanda. Look at the size difference. How did Vanity have a chance in this match? Oh, what a forearm. Uppercut. And Blue Eyes is happy with what he's seeing. Uppercut again. And another forearm. And this is complete and utter domination. Irish whip into the corner. A little taunt by Am Amanda. Puts her on the top rope. She's going to look for that superplex falcon arrow combination that she likes to hit. Vanity got the knee up. And caught that kick. Arm drag. Vanity's putting up a fight. As you'd expect. But look at these combinations by Amanda. On that forearm. And she's looking for that exploder. Suplex. Takes her to the other side of the ring. Goes to the pin. One. Two. Kick out. At two and a half by Vanity. And now Amanda's setting up, maybe looking to take that arm and make Vanity tap. Got the arm, throws her back onto the mat, got the arm in the submission. Vanity's going to have to tap. Is she going to tap? She'd be wise to, she wants to keep her arm. 
It's been in this submission for a long time. Oh my god, she manages to escape! And it's the kneeling face breaker type move. Oh, what a kick! What a scoop slam! Both women feeling the effects of this match to the middle rope. Thinking knee drop and she hit it. Irish whip into the corner, taking a breather, taunting her opponent. Went to put her on the top rope again, I think, but Vanity got the knee up yet again. Irish whip into the corner. Puts her on the top rope. Uh-oh, we know what she's going to look for. That superplex into the falcon arrow combination. And she hits it and she holds on. And here comes the falcon arrow. And she blows the fans a kiss. And she's just taking her time, taking a breather. And now I think she's going to look to make Vanity submit. With that arm. Ball type move again. It's got the arm. Throws her over. Takes her down. And Vanity's going to have to tap this time. And she submits. And Amanda Demanda is still undefeated. Still on a winning streak. Still on a submission streak. As you go to the highlights, I'll catch up on the chat the best I can. And the winner of this match, by submission, Amanda the Manda. Now we are going to get into the main event. It's going to be Hernandez versus the counselor, Hugo Nash, for the King of Vegas Championship. Hugo looking to successfully defend his title again. Hernandez will have the eye and weight advantage but I don't think that matters to Hugo such a technical wrestler Amber you're going against the laws of wrestling you should not be talking about stuff like that You keep storylines to yourself. You don't spout it out in front of everyone. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the show and it's time for the main event. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling Fallout main event and is for the King of Vegas Championship.
making his way to the ring first. The challenger from Houston, Texas, Hernandez. Hernandez, who wrestles for Impact Wrestling. He also agreed to be part of the Skeg Vegas Wrestling roster. And he has got a huge opportunity tonight to become King of Vegas Champion. Multiple time Tag Team Champion in TNA. Yep, I messaged Hernandez on Instagram. He agreed to be on the roster. Same with Rohit Raju, Raj Singh, Reno Scum. Big match for you, Leo. I don't know why that logo's popped up. It's supposed to be a custom Titan Tron. And the champion from Portugal, representing the standard, is the King of Vegas champion, the counselor, Hugo Nash. As I said before, Hernandez is going to have the eye and weight advantage in this match. But Hugo is such a good technical wrestler. Once he gets him on the mat, Hernandez won't be able to escape. Hugo's got to be the favourite in this match. There you see the King of Vegas champion, the counselor, Hugo Nash. Former No Limits champion as well. Look at the size difference. This is going to be a challenge for Hugo. He needs to get Hernandez down on the mat. He caught the Hernandez outstrength him using his power moves. And the bell rings and off we go. And that's what Hugo's got to do. Snap Mare into the fist drop. Good start for Hugo. And an elbow drop. And a kick to the gut. But Hernandez is still fighting his way up. Face buster by Hugo. Hernandez with a slap to the back of the head. And a clothesline to the back of Hugo's head. And a kick to the gut. And a kick to the back. And he cannot let Hernandez get momentum in this match. Oh, what a chop. And Hernandez is fired up. Lifts him up and sends him into the top rope. Rake at the eyes by Hugo. That's what you've got to do. Bell clap. And Anders is still standing. Crucifix into the pin. Keeps rolling him. Keeps rolling him. Into the pin. One. Only a one. From face lock. Oh my god, Hugo just got tossed like a baby by the big Super Max Hernandez. Punched by Hugo. Knees to the chest and one to the face, but Hernandez is still standing and still comes firing back. 
with the Irish whip into the rope and a back body drop. And you guys going to be having some bruises after this match. Edward punch. And a shot to the back. And another shot to the back. And a double hammer strike to the back. And just relentless. Jawbreaker by Hugo. Parallel. Snap me. Into the kick. Hernandez trying to escape. Hernandez on the apron now. Showing his experience. Hugo is going to bring him back into the ring. No, he is not. He hits the stunner onto the middle rope. You go to the apron. Elbow from the apron. Oh, but Hernandez still fighting. Kick. Sent into the steel steps. And you goes back in. You go breaks the count. You don't want to win by count out. And Anders is back in. Oh my god, what a huge German suplex. Irish whip into the corner. Punch. Punch again. Puts him on the top rope. This is not good for Hugo. Punch. Is he looking for a superplex? I think he is. Oh my god, what a superplex. And Hugo is up. How is he up? He gets it with a clothesline. Reverses that. It's the forearm. Parallel. Snapmare again into the kick. Into the rope. Leg drop. Into the rope again. It's another leg drop. Stumps to the arm. Sends him head first into the mat. And an elbow to the back of the head. And Hugo is in control. Be interesting to see if we can get him up. For that signature brain buster that he likes to hit. Can he get him up? Can he get him up? He only just... Got him up, but he drops Hernandez on his neck. Goes to the pin. One, two, kick out at two and off. By Hernandez. I thought that would have been enough. That's how Hugo won that championship. Edlock driver. And an elbow drop. And now Hugo is in total control. Just needs to find a way. Of putting Hernandez out for the count. Surfboard. Face crusher. We don't usually see this by Hugo. But he goes to the top rope. Oh, he went for the double foot stomp and missed. But he's okay. Drags him closer to the ropes. You go pulling everything out here to the top rope again. It's the double foot stomp that time. And straight back to the top of the ropes. It's another double foot stomp. Now to the middle rope. Sent on. Drags him into the center. Stomp to the arm. Looking for that arm trapped. Cross chase. Can he get it? Is Hernandez going to tap out? He's got it cinched in. Hernandez is going to have to tap and he submits. And Hugo retains his King of Vegas championship. What a match. What a main event. And the winner of this match.
by submission and still King of Vegas champion, the counselor, Hugo Nash. I'm going to check the chat. Best I can is Kill Cross here. Nope. Kill Cross is not a part of the roster. I'm starting to feel like I'm going to hold on to this belt forever. Says the counselor, you go Nash. I hope you all enjoyed the show. If you did, please drop a like. Please subscribe. If you haven't already. And I will be back Friday for Skeg Vegas Wrestling Paradise. Follow me on Instagram. Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Twitter, S Vegas Wrestling. Facebook, Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Thanks for everyone who watched the show. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, happy birthday to Arison, otherwise known as Pitch Black, a good friend of mine. And that's it, I'm going to end the live stream here, I'm going to go and get something to eat. And then later on tonight on Instagram we will have Spotlight where people vote for their favourite match of this show. And then I'll be advertising for Friday's matches. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.